<laughs> yes, sir. I like it. I like it. We'll pick a new crew for that later. She is the Tech Tree A10A, the A10A late in game. The A10A premium is the A10A early, and the Tech Tree version is the A10A late. Now, some key differences are, for instance, the A10A late gets double the A9Ls, so you get four instead of two. That's very nice. Two isn't bad, but four is obviously better. But the A10A early, the premium, gets the. Um, GBU 8A laser guided bombs, which the uh, late version does not get. Now, this also gets uh, AGM 65 Delta version Mavericks, as opposed to Bravo versions on the premium, so better Mavericks. And uh, different camouflages are mostly the differences. So, looking at those, uh, looking at the modifications here, um, not too crazy. I have used this in uh, an air assault battle so far, and that's it. So, I have used the uh, premium version in a whole bunch of battles, hence all the research I've gotten on the A-10, but I've only used the A-10A late in one battle so far, and it was just the uh, air assault arcade that I did, so that's why I've, I'm so low on ammo here for uh, the cannon rounds and the um, AIM-9L loadout there. But speaking of those loadouts, let's check them out. So you can get six 2,000-pound bombs, you can get 500, 12 500 pound bombs, six AGM 65D Mavericks or 84 Hydras, and then a mix of, you can bring two Sidewinders instead of four if you want. I don't know why you would, or you can bring all of the rocket and uh, ground attack loadouts without the Sidewinders. That's it. Until they add the ability to um, um, configure your custom loadouts, This is these are the choices you have. So... I'm going to take this into ground battles here, and I'm primarily going to take AGM-65D Mavericks in and uh, go with what we can, see what we can do with them there and see what kind of damage we can do to tanks and SPAA and such. And that's it. Let's uh, take a look at the camouflages, and we will get this thing right on into battle here. So you've got standard two-tone gray camo, and then you can unlock with 680 kills the tricolor camouflage, which is a more standard usual color of uh, A10 camo. Pretty sweet. The uh, premium gets a couple more camouflage options, but the late version gets more, I guess, proper or correct camouflage options. So there you go. Let's get it into some battles in the next one day and 10 hours. Okay, going high. Going high for the Maverick Delta. Far so good. Oh, we got enemy air up. A jet to me. Attention to the designated grid square. Can't tell if he's coming towards us or going back to his airfield. He might be going into land. Right by his airfield. All right, here we go.
There's something else shooting over here. Got one, got two. If we don't do something All right, fast, the enemy will win. there we go. We have a hostile, well, two hostile A-10s down. Plenty of players and chaff left. We do need to do some taking over of uh, Ground points, though. Got anybody? Got anybody? Anybody up near Bravo? There, hello. Let's watch that one in. Yes. Well, there we go. Should have left the players in chaff on. I'll take three though. Three's good enough for now. Good enough run to start with. Never should have turned the flares of chap off. Oh, well. well, not too bad. Six two thousands coming in hot, baby. We're making the run. Eventually. This team is a disaster. Attention to the designated grid zone. The enemy has captured most of the strategic zones. We're losing. Keep them scouted, boys. Just keep them scouted. Attention to the designated grid zone. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. Oh, that was glorious. things on for days. Okay. I'll tell you what, if you can get in low enough, those 2,000 pound bombs are awfully nice. We're on our way back into the battle. Six 2,000s on board because it's really funny dropping these, so that's what we're bringing in. Here we go. I do see at least one, probably two enemy air up, so let's see if we can get some good missile guidance on them. We've captured most of the probably a little too far away, but tail chase me. No, we're too 
far away. Alright, there's definitely one right there, though. Helicopter, I think. Alright, we're going in for the bomb run. Actually, you know what? We can go in missile run here first. Ooh, it's K-50. That's not great. Come on, lock. We have most of the zone. Please lock. Please lock, missile. Oh, pretty good hit. KA-50 survives an AIM-9L hit with no apparent significant damage at all. Ridiculous. So there you have it, everybody. Um, as you can see, my test drive is going to expire um, overnight, so I won't be able to keep playing the A-10A for a little bit. I've got to do just a little bit more grinding. I'm also going to lose the A-10A premium. So I said I was going to take this one into ground battles, but I'm just not going to have the chance to do it, so... For now, you're just going to have to stick with the air battle video and go with that. But I'd still rather use the tech tree vehicle anyways because the GBU 8As don't make that big of a difference for me. And there's better Mavericks on the A-10A late and more Sidewinders, even though the Sidewinders apparently are uh, not effective against KA-50s. So, you know, whatever. At any rate, um, for now, until they add in the... Um, configurable loadouts which is obviously going to make a big difference for now um i would alternate between the six 2000s and the six agm 65d mavericks basically depending on what kind of map terrain you've got if you can come in low and drop these bombs i would definitely come in low and drop these bombs if you've got the time to climb to a significant altitude and take your time to line up a maverick shot and fire it off and then duck away and get away to stay outside of the sam umbrella then i would bring the mavericks but it's just hilarious to come in and drop six 2000s, though. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. It would have been a lot of fun to drop those six 2000s at the last battle there. But, uh, you know, KA-50s are not at all what we've seen them to be in real life recently in recent world events. So, we'll leave it at that. Um, War Thunder, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Good luck to all of you in your A-10A grinding and using it in ground battles. And we'll see you in the next new vehicle video. Thanks very much for watching this, and we will see you around. Take care, everybody.